Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Hi everyone, welcome back to Heart Breathings. I am gonna share with you my A5 setup this month, which is in this lovely Erin Condren, their brand new A5 ring binder, or ring agenda, they're calling it. And I have loved <laughs> setting it up in here, and I'm gonna share with you how I've set it up, what I'm using it for. Obviously, I can't use the actual Erin Condren sheets with it, or at least most of them, because they don't start until July but I am gonna share how I set it up because with the ring agenda, you can set it up however you want because it's 100% customizable. So let's dive in. So in that intro, you saw how I print everything out and set it up. I typically almost every single month for the past couple of years have used the digital dash box from Planner Press. This is a digital subscription that costs, I think it's $10 a month or maybe a little bit more than $10 now a month. And it gives you access to a bunch of dashboards that you can print yourself. So if you have a printer at home or a laminator, I use a printer, a laminator. Sometimes I use a Cricut to cut out some of these designs like this, but you can also hand cut things as long as you have some scissors. And if you have a hole punch for your ring agenda, you can create your own thing here. She includes different things every month. Sometimes it's just the dashboards, which are basically just these pictures that you can use. And she has them in tons of different sizes. So I use the A5 size for this, but I've just recently gotten some B6 size ring agendas and I'm going to be able to use the digital dash box with that. So I can use these same images because they're resized for half letter, letter, Erin Condren, happy planner. She has like a dozen or more sizes that they come in. So you can check out her website for that. I'm not any kind of affiliate for the digital dash box or anything. I just personally use it and really love it. And what's great about it is that once you've downloaded like May for this year, you can use this again next year, or you can use it in June if you want, and you can continue to use these designs however you want over and over. So I have set up this beautiful A5 agenda. If you didn't see my full flip through or walk through of this planner when it first came out, when I first got it, this is a brand new offering from Erin Condren. They've previously only offered planners like this, the coil bound planners, or they last year had a binder that's like the seven by nine binder, but this is the first time they've offered a six ring A5 size and I love it. And there's plenty of storage in this uh, agenda so that you can put stickers in the back. So if you wanna see that, I'll link that for you down below. But for today, I'm gonna show you how I have it set up. 
So basically, when I'm setting up these front pockets, I tend to think about what's the color scheme that I'm looking at. So for the digital dash box this month, it's very like there's a lot of peonies and a lot of pink roses. There's silver accents and just like pink and blues for the jeans and stuff like that. So here you can see again, there's that sort of blue color there. And so I tend to pull from those colors to set up the rest of the agenda. So I tend to just some of these things like these are called quote cards and they come with the digital dash box. So I've got that one and I think there's a couple more. So there's one up here that came with it and maybe there's another one kind of stuck back there. And I tend to work in layers when I'm setting it up. So this I put here with this little clip, but what I do is I go through all my drawers, like all my little ephemera and little die cuts and things that I already own. And I just see what I think might kind of match. So I have a drawer full of bows, <laughs> full of washi tape, tapes and different things like that. This May uh, moon calendar is something that I got from Planner Press website. This May calendar here came from the cloth and paper subscription box. So I've got that in here as well. There are some more like arrow sticky notes or anything like that. So what I do is I take the color scheme, I go through my drawers, and then I just pick out anything that seems like it might match or coordinate in any way. And then I set it all out on the floor. And then I just sort of build. I don't always know exactly how it's going to come together. Sometimes it works out better than other times. But I tend to put little backing cards like this into the pockets of whatever I've got so that I can kind of see them in the back they sort of peekaboo and then I layer on top so I've got my little May there and then I stuck the sticky notes behind it and then I thought oh maybe I want to see the sticky notes so let me put those a little bit right here I have this beautiful Chanel bow that came from a planned design I think or no scheduled planners and so I put that in here as well then underneath this <laughs> I've got this washi tape card now this is actually like credit card size. I got these off Amazon and I'll be doing a video coming up in conjunction with the washi tape shop hopefully to show you some other ways that I'm using my washi tape. So I'm going to show you where I got these cards and how I'm using them. But basically if you can't carry just entire rolls of washi tape with you wherever you go because they're more cumbersome, you can always put just a little bit like a few rolls of the tape onto a card like this and now you've got five or six that you can carry with you. Plus then it makes a pretty little design for your planner. But underneath here, I have one another one of the cards that says you belong among the wildflowers. So again, you can't fully see it, but I don't really mind that. It's just kind of the idea of it that's pretty. And sometimes a little bit of it will peek out and some of, sometimes it won't. But I've got the card here to add that pretty little design. On the next tier down, I have another card here from Planner Press that says, little by little, day by day, what is meant for you will find a way. And this is a good message for me right now, because if you've been following me on social media, you know that for the last couple of weeks, I have been really struggling with anxiety. And it's not just like a little bit of anxiety. It's like, I can't take a full breath. I've got a physical reaction. Something in my nervous system has been triggered and I don't know fully the cause of it. It could just be stress. It could be some kind of global happening. I've heard a lot of other people struggling with anxiety, but it's probably been the worst in a decade. And so I've been doing a little extra self-care. You might have noticed that I've had a few, like fewer videos and I am okay. Uh, I promise I'm taking care of myself, but that's why you see a few less videos happening here and there. But I'm also surrounding myself with little quotes and beautiful things that help me during these difficult times. And I've got some little die cuts that I got from the Coffee Monsters Co. that kind of go in there and it see it hides that, but at the same time, I know it's there and I can pull it out anytime. So I think the key when you're setting up your planner in this way with these little die cuts or anything like that is to really decide how much of each thing you want to see. Because I could have chosen to just put a single layer and then I can see everything that's on there, but I tend to like to stack them up and I like the way that looks but it can be totally up to you how you set them up. But my biggest tip is just to pull everything out that you think you might use that matches your color scheme or gives you the vibe that you want and then kind of play around with it until you get it where you want it. I also have some of these little Erin Condren D uh, dots here and another planner press little tiny quote card that says shine is my favorite color. Then on this little paperclip 
pineapple paper clip that I got from the Simplified Planner website. I have one of the Erin Condren Druzy charms that is the blue, and I thought that blue would really pop with this other blue, so I put that there. She also included this month's Digital Dash Box some bookmarks. Now, I just hand cut these out, and I thought, oh my gosh, this little one fits perfectly in the pin slot and gives that extra little bit of color, and I think that turned out cute. In this first pocket, I just have the Hello Kitty pin from Erin Condren and one of my mild liners. So that is how I set up the front. I currently don't have a ton of stuff back here in this little pouch because I haven't really needed to fill it up, but I do have some cloth and paper page flags and some stickers back here. In the main part of the planner, you can see I've got this heart clip that's also from Erin Condren. This is a new uh, little vellum that I got from Planner Press that says, Unbothered in my lane, happy, focused, and flourishing. And this is kind of reminding me that I don't need to compare myself to other people. I don't need to worry about how I'm doing compared to anyone else. I can just be myself and be happy and flourish on my own. <laughs> so this is just a good reminder for me right now. Then I've got this beautiful planned planner press digital dash box and all of the little things that come that you'll see here come from that she also had these beautiful tabs these are side tabs and she includes silhouette files for cutting them out or you can hand cut them out but I have figured out a few tricks to actually print these and cut them with my Cricut but it's a little bit of a process so if anybody wants to see that I can walk you through how I take silhouette files and make them work on my Cricut but I get asked all the time would you recommend a silhouette or a Cricut and I I always would recommend a silhouette if you're mostly planning to use it for your stickers and planner stuff because the silhouette is the files that most planner like Etsy shops use when they're doing downloads for printables and stuff like that. This is the sticky note that came with uh, last month's <laughs> Uh, planner press so I just kept using that. I also have this other quote card and this little pocket came from the Target dollar spot right around school back to school time. The comeback is always stronger than the setback. I just really like that because I'm feeling like my book sales have been a little bit low since I haven't had a new release in my main series in a while but I've got a new release coming up soon. I'm currently finishing up book 11 in my series so I'm like needing this message right now have this I run on coffee and magic and on the back side of that some more sticky notes as well as this little ass kicker sweetie that my husband drew for me more than a dozen years ago now I believe. More vellums from Planner Press and then here you can see I did actually sneak in the Erin Condren calendar for 2021-22 even though it doesn't start until July. I just wanted to have a little piece of that Erin Condren in here and the main planner that I got was the horizontal layout in the colorful mid-century circle so I just wanted that pop of color in here because it's so beautiful. I also got, I didn't get a chance to show you, but I also got they sent me the horizontal layout in the Just My Type Neutral to show you guys. So just to show you real quick, you can see it's the same quote, basically. It's, if you want something you've never had, do something you've never done, but it's in a totally different font and it's much more neutral. So there's no color in this planner. It's just gray or black and white, and it's much more like streamlined font. And then it's got this definitely like more playful font or handwriting type font on the main pages or the quote pages. Then on the monthly, again, you'll have this, these boxes for the monthly will not match the monthly boxes in the main planner that they've always had. They're going to be a little bit like thinner because the page is thinner, but I love this just my type font. I think it looks really cute and it's different from anything they've had before, but just to kind of walk you through what it will look like. And then here are what the horizontal pages look like. And I really like the different fonts that they have for the months, as well as this very simple kind of minimalist design that they have on the pages. I think it's really beautiful. So what's going to be great about having the A5 design is you could really just have like once July comes around, you could just have July pages in here and have the rest of it put away in a drawer. And then you can put a lot of other stuff into your planner and just switch it out every month. You could also just have the monthly pages in your planner and have the only the weeks for the week that you're currently in. And there's lots of options to customize it. But I have so far just used this until we get to July. And I haven't set it up or anything. I've just got it in here because the colors are so pretty. 
There's a little note section from the back and the contact section, which has the 2023 calendar in it. So I've got that in here along with some of my cloth and paper inserts that I take notes on a lot. I'm constantly refilling this and taking them out. And so many people ask me, what do I do with the pages once I'm finished with them? And for the most part, I will keep them in another binder. So I have several of these A5 binders. So I will just take pages out if I want to be able to reference them later and put them into a storage binder once that I don't use very often or if they don't have stuff that I need to keep it was just lists like grocery lists or to-do lists or something I will just recycle the pages but I am always refilling those pages from cloth and paper probably need to place a new order I also have a carpe diem notes half sheet and this no llama drama I think I got at Hobby Lobby years ago on sale here's another one of those pretty dashboards on the back I just print you know a different one you could always print the same or just not print it double-sided if you didn't want to use so much ink this is another uh, just like a pull out a5 yearly calendar that I have like deadlines and virtual writing retreats as well as the daily uh, double down day my release dates and things like that when my courses will run and I actually because we're getting towards the end of this I need to go and fill it out completely for the rest of the year but I got this off of Etsy but I can't remember the name of the shop if anybody wants it let me know then this trust your vision quote is from my HB90 planner and this also are my yearly pages for 2021 and 2022 and I actually had to replace these as well because I had my release dates planned and then I had to push a book back yet again so I'm going to refill this out with my anticipated plan but for now these are just in here plain I also have this gorgeous dragonfly page that one of uh, my subscribers sent to me that I love so much and I try to include it in my planner as often as possible this beautiful I'm guessing this is like a Paris look here and this another thing with flowers if you're curious the digital dash box almost always includes different skin colors different hair colors and hair types so you can always find something that looks similar to you ish um, there's only so many options but I love that she includes the different options there for you to print I have this pretty little insert here that comes from Webster's pages these are two by two photos that I just printed on my printer from when Evie was just born you guys she is 20 months old so we're only four months away from her being two which is just blows my mind I don't want to think about it another quotes page from my HB90 planner and then I have all the months pages from my HB90 I haven't been planning in these because my monthly I plan in my goals planner which is a letter size planner but I do keep these in here for reference so that when I want to see like is the fourth on a Saturday I can go and check it but I haven't been using these for actual like planning out the month except Evie has come in and added some of her own little flourishes I love this with her face and the flowers that's so cute and then I just printed the same thing on the back there this more list get more sleep get more water drink more ex drink more water get more exercise read more etc do more to get more comes from planner press as well then this is a little key for my time tracking that I made for myself and I have this key in my Erin Condren planner that's this size that I also use for my time tracking and I know so many of you have been asking for an update on how that time tracking planner is working and it is coming I just want to make sure that I am teaching you something that works for me and so I've been working out the kinks but it's coming within the next month or so so this is the key this is my key and then I print these stickers out myself and I use them in both my planner here as well as my time tracker and it mostly matches my color code on my Kanban board so I am really kind of leaning into the idea of a color code this past year another one of those planner press vellums that I have stuck to the love what you do quote from the HB90 method planner and again the HB90 method is just a planner that I designed it's for sale on Etsy and it's a 90-day goal setting planner uh, the week of May 3rd through 9th I did not really plan I was struggling so hard with anxiety I barely did anything so I didn't touch my planner I have this beautiful little pom-pom here I can link that down below as well last week I did finally get to plan and it felt good to kind of get back on track with my planning there is also this today page that came with the digital dash box that I like and these beautiful post-it notes so the way you do the post-it notes with the digital dash, bo dash box is you just get white post-it notes and she gives you a template and you put them on the template and run it through your printer and you have 
designed post-it notes, which is kind of cool. So here's the larger of the bookmarks from this month's kit and these are today's pages. So I'm gonna plan those in just a minute. So we'll just hold that space and show you the rest. So I keep one month of pages in my planner at a time so that I can have these other things as well. If you only cared about the pages and you had this, I did check it. This is an 18 month planner and the whole planner will fit inside these A5 rings from Erin Condren. So if you wanted to just have the planner without all these like extras, like the folders and the stickers and the fl flourishes and stuff like that, you could fit just the plain planner and it would be fine. But I think if you wanted to start adding stickers and washi tape to it, you would be better at most keeping six months at a time in the planner. I just keep one month at a time. And in fact, when I do set this up in July, I will be putting my HB90 pages and the horizontal pages from the Erin Condren in here. So I'm gonna be setting this up a little bit different than I ever have before. So I will definitely do a flip through. So this is a folder from the digital dash box, but not from this month. This is from like a February, maybe two years ago. <laughs> like I said, I've been subscribed to this for a couple of years. And so I have all those past designs to pull from. So she doesn't always include a folder. And I like having the folder for some of my extra stickers. So that is in here. And that takes up quite a bit of bulk in this planner. I also have some of these cloth and paper page flags in the back here. Here's that same design you saw kind of on the flip side of one previously as well as this one so I reuse those. I've got some Kiki K graph paper as well as just some blank paper from Kiki K in here for taking notes and then this final peony dashboard here also has some notes in the back. Now I usually have this last section set aside for social media and tracking what I'm reading, what I'm gaming, and what I'm doing. Here's another dashboard from Cloth and Paper, um, one of my like vision board type things. And I usually have that stuff in this section, but I'm experimenting with my social media in a different planner. So for now, I'm just using this for notes. And then I have this final little piece here and one of the Hello Kitty Erin Condren notebooks. This is the medium size and it just slips right into this pocket and some more stickers here in the back. And this pen is usually, or one one of my pens is usually in the side here. I've been keeping this pretty Villa Beautiful pen on the side because it is so beautiful <laughs> that it looks so nice with the full package. So that is my May setup. I'm actually going to sit down right now since I have all the recording equipment set up and I'm going to record a video of my Erin Condren launch haul that came in already and I'm so excited about it. I will also have the monthly planner for you guys to check out. That'll be coming soon and it'll be launching on their website soon. And I wanted to let you know that tomorrow, May 17th, the seasonal surprise box goes live. Now I have not seen it yet, but they are sending me a preview copy. I always love to get the seasonal surprise box. I think it's $40 and you never know what's gonna be in it, but there's always some exclusive items that you won't be able to get anywhere else. So if you wanna give it a try this season, their summer box is usually summer themed and really cute. So I will post links to that tomorrow. And and I will post my launch order as soon as I get that updated, but I'm gonna to try to record it right now for you. Also, I wanted to record a plan with me. So since it's Sunday and I'm sitting down to actually plan, I'm gonna record that and put that up. So that's what you can expect from me over the next week. I also wanted to mention that it is my one year anniversary with Adrienne Michelle over at Procrasta Planner, etc. I know many of you have supported her shop and gotten some of her stickers, but she has some HB90 method stickers as well as some brand Brand new products that have come out like these amazing post-it note pads that have to do doing and done that you could put your you could use on your actual board for your Kanban board. So those are cool. She also has other things that are not HB90 related. These were some freebies that she sent to me, which were so cool. Then she has some brand new HB90 stickers like this revisions sticker. This one that says track my time. I definitely have been excited about this one and it's in my brand colors with the pink and green. She also has some other things like these beautiful mystic samplers, which are very witchy and cool. I'm definitely gonna be using those in my plan with me today some HB90 colorful boxes for tracking and she's got happy mail stickers more of those gemstones there are research book stacks moon water 
moon phases. She also has this weekly, monthly, and quarterly review stickers, which I love because if you do the HB90 method or if you do any method of planning, it's so important to do those reviews and this will be a good way to remind yourself. Look at this owl boys be extra. <laughs> I love it. It's just like a little vinyl sticker. And then she has stickers like this that say, shouldn't you be writing? Obviously I've already used one of those deadline hell with the unicorn on fire. And she also has these book launch samplers, which I've been using like the teaser stickers or editing your video, update the website, send out your arcs, double down day for HB90 writing sprints group, a HB90 method sampler and more. There are just so many amazing stickers over in her shop. So please go and check out her new releases. I will post to her shop below, but I just wanted to give a shout out to Adrian because having HB90 method stickers that go along with this system has been such a dream come true. And she has some of the best stickers for writers I've ever used. I use them all the time. And I just am so appreciative of her and so grateful that this is a year that we've been working together on these stickers. I just love you, Adrian. Thank you for everything. You guys go out and support her shop for sure. And I will see you later this week in my plan with me, as well as the Erin Condren Hall. Look for a video about how I work with my beta readers. And then once we get into June and my book is done, I have 13 days to turn in my book. I will get back to that great ideas series, I promise. But thank you guys so much for being so understanding that my content shifted just a little bit as I dealt with anxiety and a book deadline. It means so much to me that you guys have been so supportive. I am definitely feeling better and back on track. So I will see you in those next videos and I hope you have an amazing Sunday. I will see you guys soon. Bye.